All right, how's it going everyone? So I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how to inverse or reverse chroma key, whatever you wanna call it. I learned how to do this last year in my filmmaking class and I forgot how to do it. I needed to do it again the other week and I could not find a good video on YouTube about it. And I'd remember how to do it. So without further ado, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. It's ironic because it took shitty notes. But anyways, first you want to get your green screen footage that you want to inverse. You want to drag it to your composition. And then from here, you want to key it out the way you prefer. I like to use key light 1.2. That's just the easiest for me. And obviously, if you like, you can spend some time cleaning up the green screen. And as you can see here, mine is pretty shitty. There's shadows cast. There's paint on my neck. But with some time and effort, you could clean it up. That's not what this video is about. If you'd like to see a video about that, please let me know and I can get into it. But for right now, we're just going to focus on inverse keying. So once you have your background keyed out, we're going to be adding a new solid layer in. So just go to layer and go to solids. When doing this, keep in mind to put your solid layer underneath your green screen layer. Otherwise, it won't work. So once that's done, all you have to do is just go to import and find the footage or photo that you want to play over your subject. Then just go ahead and drag and drop it right between your green screen layer and your solid layer. Here's the important part. So to do this, we're going to need the track matte feature. And if you don't see it, just tap F4 on your keyboard till you can. Then just click Alpha Matte. And boom, there you go. So that's my quick run through on the Alpha Matte. And from here you can edit it, move it around to how you need it. So this technique has been pretty prominent in the past years. You've seen it in advertisements, I'm sure. Album covers commercials, you name it, it's probably been there. Now another fun look you can experiment with is the Luma Mask. But as you can see here, it doesn't work with every single subject. Mine looks a little bit creepy. Mildly unnerving, some would say. Well, that's it. If you like what you saw, leave a comment, subscribe, DM my MySpace, Find my facts, do what you want, don't hurt people unless they want to hurt you back. Well, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>